Receive our love. Receive our love. Yeah. And as we shout your name, receive. God, 
I sense the Lord wants to do something in his house on today. And I'm okay with that. Are you? We did not invite him in and then say, now you have to leave. <laughs> we say, come in and stay, Lord. Amen. Stay, abide here. This is your house. <laughs> yes. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I will worship you. with us because of who you are because of who you are I give you glory only you Lord because of who you are I give you praise because of who you are because of who you are I will lift my voice my voice and say 
shalom. Hallelujah, we need you. Oh God, we can't do it without you. I we worship you. Hallelujah, we love you. Oh God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's sing Jehovah Jireh again, okay? Come on. of God up here and when Moses was going to go and set the people free in Egypt he said who do I say sent me and he heard I am there's people here from all backgrounds all situations whatever you need God to be he says I am to live alone you don't have to live with your sadness you don't have to live with your addiction you don't have to live with anything that is keeping you in bondage because I am wants to set you free Jesus said I have come to set you free it was for freedom I came freedom freedom in this place whatever binds you do you have self-condemnation? Are you listening to the lies of the enemy, the father of lies that is out to destroy you and rob from you, kill your family? There's people dying all around us without the Lord. Here we worship you, Jesus. We worship the name that is above every other name, Jesus. We praise you, we honor you, we worship you this day in this place. Thank you, I am. Meet every person here. No lie can stay here. In the name of Jesus, every lie out of this place. This is a place Jesus is honored. We honor you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Move in this place, Holy Spirit. Move in this place. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. You are here. You're moving in our midst, and I worship you, I worship you, you are here, you're working in this place, and I worship you, I worship you. You're moving in our midst, and I worship you, I worship you. You are the way maker, miracle. 
the eagle one. He is going to be distraught, but he is going to be torn down. And the power of the living God and his anointing is going to break every chain. We need to stand as one man. We need to stand as a community of people. And we need to say, this far and no farther. No farther. Yes. The enemy has been moving like a flood across the earth. And particularly in this opioid death epidemic that has happened here in Boston, that has happened up in New Hampshire, has happened in different areas. We can't necessarily territorially stand for those other regions, but we can for this land. We are going to stand for this area, for this region, thus far and no more. I want us to come, I want us to pray, but I want us to come as authority. I want us to declare, I want us to say, we are driving back the enemy. The enemy cannot have this place. He cannot have this land. We're going to sing it again. But that's what the intent is going to be of our prayers here this morning. I want you to begin to be a warrior for God. God wants you to be mighty and strong and in authority. Not in the arm of the flesh, but in the might of the spirit of the living God. Rise up, O oh saints of God. Rise up, O oh saints of God, and declare, say it with me, thus far and no more. Thus far and no more. Thus far and no here I had this strong um, prompting from the Lord precisely to to bind the enemy my wife and I have been speaking about it. she was just uh, there at the uh, breakfast that we have on Saturdays um, and you know we're both uh, commenting on how difficult it would seem right now to take individuals that have spent years and years and years um, under the ravaging and the uh, destruction and the demolition of the enemy, of their nervous system, their entire neurology, their brain, their cognitive powers, their emotions, their physical life. I mean, their whole neurology has been reconfigured along the lines of uh, a, a destructive uh, lifestyle. And so when we, uh, when we can contemplate the renewal and the transformation of these uh, beautiful souls that God has uh, a, an amazing purpose for, we're really talking about healing in the most profound sort of way. I mean, we're talking about physical healing. It's not just a, 
people, you have to understand what the challenge, the level of the challenge is. This is not uh, somehow going through a counseling session and, you know, teaching insight to people so that they can become better. No, this, we're talking about uh, a healing ministry, a healing of the nervous system, a healing of nerves, a healing of uh, neurology, of, of the brain even. And only God can carry out that kind of miracle so that these beautiful individuals can then enter into the fullness of what God has for them. It is a restoration at a level that is, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's unprecedented. We have not seen something like this. So uh, to aspire to this is, is to, to aspire to something that there's no precedent for it. But if, if God is, if this is going to happen, God will have to do it. That's number one. Number two, I think the power of the enemy has been so unquestioned, unchallenged, unlimited in zones like this one and even worse zones in other parts of America that um, we need to bind his power. And, and I'm thinking of um, Mark 3:27. There may be other versions in other passages. And I want us to pray in the spirit of uh, Jesus' declaration, which says, No man, and that means uh, the Church of Christ uh, here in, in uh, New England or wherever, um, you know, the medical systems, the sociological systems, whatever, no man can enter into a strong man's house. Now, who is he speaking about? Who is Jesus speaking about? The devil, of course. The power of hell, the power of Satan, who is strong indeed. And right now he's so strong that he's like Goliath. He comes before the armies of God every day and he says, hey, I dare you. I dare you to do anything against me. So no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods. What, what are his goods? Those souls that we see, I mean, they're, they're captive. They are captive. They would seem to be irrevocably captive. That's his goods. He traffics in human souls. He destroys them. He taunts them. He keeps them encased in failure and, and uh, self-destructive patterns of behavior and thinking because that's his industry. He says he doesn't know anything but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So those are his goods, this treasure of human beings that he has under his power. But, hey, let's go further than that. I mean, I'm not, we're not just talking about um, people under, you know, the ravage of drugs. I mean, I'm talking about people who are under other kinds of uh, struggles as well. I mean, money, the love of money, homosexuality, sensuality in all its different manifestations, ambition, uh, you know, dependency on just the human perspective. Some of them making lots of money, living in some of the very expensive homes right here and, and condos in this area. I mean, that's Satan's goods. That's not just limited to people, you know, who are evidently under his power, like we, the stereotypical way. No, no, no. We're talking about this area is also, you know, has its own industry of evil in all those other manifestations. They're all manifestations of demonic intellectualism that excludes God. That is a huge, huge demonic property. And, and, and so Jesus is saying, the only way you're going to spoil his goods, the only way you're going to frustrate his work and stop his monopoly is, except he will first bind the strong man. Except he will first bind the strong man. Except first, you got to bind him. You got to tie him down. And I believe that this is a strategic moment here in Jesus' name where we're going. And then he will spoil his house. And then he will spoil his house. So people of God, right now, I want us to just get ready. And, and with all the intensity that you can muster, I want you to pray with me. Sp uh, just, let's just pray right now in Jesus' name to bind Satan. Now, that, that image of no go zone, the Lord gave it to me just earlier right now. We're going to declare this area right here. We're going to declare a, a perimeter or a radius of, I don't know, maybe one mile from where we are standing. And Satan, we declare that, that your powers 
are being bound by the people of God. Come on, people, please pray. Please pray with me. Satan, as the church of Jesus Christ, uh, standing in the authority of the name, the power, the blood of Jesus Christ, and believing that we are moving in a holy invitation from God, not in our own emotional enthusiasm, but in the authority, the sober authority of the Spirit of God, we say, be gone in Jesus' name. Let your activity be reduced in Jesus' name right now. And we declare this area, Miracle Mile, not Methadone Mile, Miracle Mile. We declare it Miracle Mile. Well, the reconstruct, where the reconstructive activity of God will take place. And Lord, you, you free the people that you want to heal right now, those that you have called into eternal life. You free them right now, free their minds, free their nervous systems, free their memories, free their emotional systems, that they might be able to hear, understand, and react positively to the message of the gospel, to the teachings that will free them. In Jesus' name, I declare minds and spirits and neurologies being freed by the delivering power of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Christ uh, over this region, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We bind the demons of evil in every manifestation, every sort, Father. Every expression of demonic hegemony. In Jesus' name, we bind the enemy. And we say, evil, be gone. Spread back. Spread back. Let there be freedom. We bind Satan. We join. We join. Join hands. Hallelujah. Join hands. Just join hands. Take yes. somebody's yes. hand. It is to do with this, the joining of hearts, yes, mind, yes, Lord, and hands. The Church when they of Jesus were Christ. In one accord. Yes, yes, in the hallelujah. Upper room, hallelujah. The power hallelujah. of the Holy Spirit hallelujah. was loose. Hallelujah. We are binding we release the it. enemy. We release we the are power binding of God. the powers of darkness. We with send agreement. them away. Be gone in we Jesus' agree. name. Be bound. We agree, Satan, Lord, be bound that you will break the chains bind of power. darkness. Bind the enemy. We bind your bind actions, him, Satan. hold him back. Church Lord, of Jesus Christ. You do it, the Church of Christ done, stands but you can with the authority of Christ. And you have given us the with the authority of Christ. Of praying yes, Lord. Is into place even Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. And agree Hallelujah. with you. We oh, agree, Hallelujah. Lord. We Rabba agree, Father, Father, that you are breaking the back of the enemy. We agree that you are loosening the power of Jesus the Holy Spirit be bound to bring Jesus people name. out of bondage in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, the power of the strong man. We bind, we bind, we bind, we bind the power of the strong man. We bind the power of the strong man. As the church of Jesus Christ, we bind the power of Satan. As a church of Jesus Christ, it's not by our authority. It's not by our authority. It's by the, the authority of, we have no authority. In, in ourselves, we have no authority. But in Christ, in his word, in his promise, in his invitation, we have all the power that is necessary. And we stand in the authority of the church of Jesus Christ, who has placed us in authority in this area right here. We are the authority in Christ. We are, we have the authority. And we use this authority right now to bind the power of Satan. Hallelujah. We declare confusion in the armies of hell. We declare they are being weakened to the point of being totally ineffective. Father, we just say, free the air so that the church might be able to do what you have called it to do. Free the souls. Free the minds. Free their bodies, free their memories, free their spirits, Father. Satan, you have no power. You have no authority. It has been taken away from you. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Transport the evil to wherever you want to take it, Father. In Jesus' name. And, and we, we claim the authority <clears throat> to do the life-giving work 
the life-giving work that Jesus has determined for us to do. Father, we refuse to accommodate to this situation. We refuse to have the region where your church dwells be contaminated and deformed by this kind of manifestation of evil. And we say, gone, gone, gone in Jesus' name. A no-fly zone, no-fly zone, no-go zone for this area in Jesus' name, Father. Hallelujah. Your church stands in the authority and in the power of your ecclesia. You have said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Therefore, you go. So we go with that power. And we claim that power. We claim that authority in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, the Lord, uh, what he deserves. Worship. And we bind this, Father. We, we declare this done. We declare this done. Yeah, one more. I, thought, I saw you doing one. Hallelujah. 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 This is more important than anything else. Let's just do one more song here. I know you guys were doing a very beautiful song at the end when I, when I walked in. That was uh, very powerful. It was a new one. I don't know. Wh whatever you have is fine. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, just something that affirms what we are doing here. Hallelujah. Let's not lose that, that sense of urgency and clarity right now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hosanna.
Doug has a has a word that he just received from him. As we were praying, I, I had a vision and I saw the methadone mile with demons overseeing the whole methadone mile. A demon for every uh, every uh, block, every area, a demonic force. But as we were praying, I saw the army of angels coming with swords in their hands and they were crushing those demons and tearing them down. And we believe liberty will come to these people. This woman came up and she said, I want liberty today. I want freedom today. I think of the uh, Forefathers Monument in Plymouth and there's a man at the end of it called Liberty Man and he sits there and he has a chain on him that's broken from his feet and he has a, a, a claw on his head where there was a, a lion over him that controlled his life and now he's broken them and now he has a sword in his hand, the sword of the Spirit. And so God, let the sword of the Spirit come into these people's hands, these men and the women that are so bound, God, that, that they're being called to draw rugs all over the place and called to all kinds of wrong living. Lord, let the angels of God surround us now. Let the angels of God every day come into Methadone Mile. Let the people of God go and speak to them and to others in Boston. Lord, raise up the church, God, like never before. Raise us up, God. Use us as your mighty instruments, Lord. No longer will the enemy win. No longer will the enemy have his way, God. We want you to have your way. We want you to bring life and liberty to, life, to people's lives. Lord God, you are the God of peace. You're the God of joy. You are not the God of bondage. And Lord, Lord, we pray the re re opposite of bondage, freedom for our brothers and sisters out there on the streets and all around. We thank you in Jesus' name.